get this off me. I'm going numb. <laughs> God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. We got to grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. You saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. Here, drink <sighs> this for the pain. <clears throat> oh, 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 God, yes. <clears throat> My leg feels like it's, like it's on fire. Help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. They're getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine, We're starting to run low, and I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going.
Let's go, boy. Oh, Arthur. Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. What? Mr. McGuire, turn back. So come on. Let's have ourselves a party. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to rip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head, me too. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Come on, let's enjoy ourselves. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Welcome back, Mind Sean. Mind if I join you fine folks? I, I know you won, Arthur Morgan. Your drinks are on me. They You're always are lovely when you ain't buying. If I may say so. Imagine riding with them all yeah, the way. And all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire when you feel So, oh, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what that? Oh, Listen, let him have friend. some fun. Do He's you been know through a the lot. Louisville maid? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, I just don't need to fall <laughs> over drunk yeah, with the rest of them. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join in. in Louisville, oh, really? Mark, well, what I do say? And she was Mr. Summer Trader. It was diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, yes, my man, run for the diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, yes, my man, run for the diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my Very nice. But how about something a little more civilized? Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you. <laughs> you old bastard. Miss O'Shea, dance with me. Of course, don't you? Hey, you know, Hi there. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Look sure. At me. I ain't much of a dancer. Oh, stop it, you. Sorry, Mary Beth. <laughs> See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. It doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster.
Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again. Fine. Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Uh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Boy.
Okay, then. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Shell of the boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. <laughs> I love them, too. Turtles! Um... <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Come on, Jamie, your sister. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. Just using you! Telling you what you wanna hear! Hey, what are you doing? They're just using you! Telling you what you wanna hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! This is none of your damn business! Yep.
Luther. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not, and you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
close. About seeing her, aren't you? Open your eyes. Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hello, sir. 